even on modern CNC machines, there's still a lot of ways you can get your tap stuck. You may press e-stop in the middle of a tapping cycle, or the power may go out, or the tool may slip inside the collar. And when this happens, on a lot of CNC machines, you're kind of screwed. You'll likely either break the tap, or ruin the part, or bolt. But on a Haas machine, recovering a stuck tap is as easy as pressing a couple of buttons and you're back to making chips. Let me show you how it's done. So I have a part loaded with two holes in it, and we're going to tap those holes. But when it's somewhere around the bottom, we're going to hit e-stop. And then we're going to use the tap recovery feature to pull it back out of the hole. Okay, now here comes my e-stop. So that tap is stuck. So the first thing we're going to do is release our e-stop and hit reset. Then we're going to go to recover. Then we follow the on-screen instructions. To remove the tap, we just hold counterclockwise. And just like that, we're out. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing again, except this time we're going to turn off the machine while we're cutting the threads. So now I'm going to turn the machine off in the middle of tapping. Here we go. So we just simulated a power failure. So now I'm gonna turn the machine back on and wait for the control to load. So the cool thing is, once I clear my alarms, it knows there was a problem with a tapping cycle and it brought me straight to the recovery page. So just as before, I press and hold counterclockwise. So there you have it. We managed to save both the tool and the workpiece. Tap recovery is just another great Haas feature that helps save you time and money. Thanks for watching.